The Forces for Good diagnostic tool was distributed to a member of the Queen's Museum recently in an effort to quickly assess the organization according to six practices of high-impact nonprofits. The process for collecting information for assessment was simple. The Forces for Good diagnostic tool was given to Michelle Lopez, Senior Coordinator, Art Access Library Programs and Autism Initiatives at the Queen's Museum. Ms. Lopez was able to collaborate with colleagues, volunteers, and board members to complete the survey. Some advantages of using this tool are, the six practices are simple and thorough and offer key insights into strengths and areas where there are opportunities for growth. The user is given a wide range of competencies which can be discussed at board meetings. The tool can easily be completed in five to 10 minutes. Some disadvantages of using the tool are, the scoring key is very limited. Employee, staff, and volunteer satisfaction in working with the organization is not assessed. Also, the tool is based on the assumption that the organization should be involved with all six practices. There are several identified priority capacity building areas for the Queen's Museum. These are Practice 1, Make Markets Work. Point one, organization changes the way local, national, or global businesses fundamentally operate. And point number three, organization is funded in part by revenue generated from sales of products or services. Um, practice three, inspire evangelists. Point number two, the organization deliberately cultivates high-profile evangelists. I looked at those, however... I still feel there is room for growth in both Practice 1, Advocate and Serve, and Practice 5, Master the Art of Adaptation. In looking at Point 1, my organization advocates for policy reform in addition to providing direct services. And looking at Point number 1 in Practice 5, my organization evaluates what works using practical tools designed for tracking outcomes, not just outputs. I think both of these areas are critical as the Queen's Museum doubles its space and launches new programs to better serve the community, and I would be focusing on both those points. Thank you.